Hi there. Agriculture is like any industry, any industry. Uh, when we accept that fact, we can move fast. If we don't accept it, we are in trouble. It will take us much longer uh, to advance. And we want to advance the agriculture of Africa. So I want to look on other countries, and I will take one as, a, as an example, that wanted to advance uh, an industry. So I will not take uh, an example of agriculture industry, but a different one but we can learn from this industry about agriculture and about what requires for a change in Africa, okay? So the example will be about Korea. And the history of, of the recent history of Korea is that in the 50s, it had a huge war that ended in, 50, in uh, 1953 with one million people dead and an economy that is ruined, destroyed, much worse than many of the countries today in Africa. That is the starting point. So now we can compare it to other things. Now let's see what happened then to Korea. What happened next is that the government actually gives a lot of support to family companies. And those companies start to flourish. They use the huge industry of steel of Korea. It wasn't as big as it is today, but still it was big. And they start to develop later in the 60s uh, an industry of construction and, uh, uh, and car industry. There is no car industry before that in Korea. So what do they do? They take all the experts. They bring a bunch of designers from Europe engine from Japan, the market is in, in Europe, Asia, Canada, all over the world. And they start producing and they are surprised to see that people want to buy the, the cars and they are doing well and they produce more and there is more export and more and they become one of the, gr the biggest exporters in the world for cars and they have demand for the cars that even before they sell it it's already sold i mean before they produce it it is already sold that's how good it is that is a great example they didn't have it and today you know korea south korea is a huge economy and it's not only the electronics, but it started with this, with the car industry. And it is based on export. The food industry, the agriculture industry, that was once the biggest industry of Korea. Most of the people worked in agriculture. Now Korea import most of its food. But it's not a problem because they have enough money, enough euros, dollars, yen, whatever you want to buy it. And the Korean currency is very strong because they export much more than they import in total. So later they can buy whatever they want. And this is the lesson. The lesson is agriculture, just like the car industry, in Korea is an industry. Yes, in Africa it's a big one, but it's an industry. And we should bring into Africa things like the best experts 
and so on that we will talk later. But we should not limit ourselves in Africa only to what is available in Africa. Not at all. We should look what we have the best in Africa and then get everything possible from the outside to advance it as fast as possible, just like you do with any industry. And let me give you one more example, and that is the high-tech industry of Israel. In Israel, you know it's very advanced, but it wasn't always so. And uh, many years ago, it was Israel was mainly agriculture. So how did we become such a huge success in ex in uh, high tech? Because we knew that we need much more know-how from outside. And so, not only that many Israelis went and study outside for many years and still do, we also got foreign companies coming to Israel, starting their own companies. Americans, Europeans, Japanese, Chinese, Indians, whatever you want, they are all in Israel, all the leading ones. They are owned by the same companies, not by Israelis. It's okay. And they brought with them Lots of know-how, lots of know-how, not only technology, but also management. They brought the markets, because when we produce something in Israel, like the most advanced uh, technology of Intel is coming from Israel, but the market is not Israel. And the market is brought by Inter Intel International, the Americans. That's good. Very good. We are doing good money. They are doing good money. Everybody is happy. So, my African friends, to advance the agriculture in Africa, we should not limit ourselves only to what we have. The same is with Asia. The same is Latin America. The same is everywhere. Okay? Let's have all the good that the world can offer us and take it with us by improving the best that we can do today. Bye-bye.